find you. I'll start now. I've been uh, listening to the <laughs> game loop for a bit now. Because I made the mistake um, with the debut stream of starting, like, scheduling it and then being like, I'll set it, like, ten minutes before at, to let people come in. Oh, is it loud? Um, it's loud on my end, too. Uh, so I was just like... Um, like, let me know. I'm messing with it. Three months, but... So, yeah, um, Fire Emblem. Um, I have... I like these games for the difficulty, and so... Ah, um, got it. I have it like 10 decibels slower. Um, but, um... Um... Is it fine now? Need to wait for like. Um, but yeah, well, I'm waiting for that. Like, so an explanation of like, yeah, that's fair. I I'll play with it. Um, but I have it set like pretty low compared to uh, my audio. Anyway, I'll be playing on a normal difficulty, because while I like these games being hard, I'm not a masochist. <laughs> so, I, um, <laughs> I'll be playing on hard. My personal rules, I reset if, um, someone dies. But at the same time, I will not be, like, going for every last little thing, and if, like, there's a level where NPCs surviving gives me, uh, items, I will not reset for that. I have fallen into that trap before in other games where it's just like 10 hours wasted on a map because I wanted to get everything I could. But I will be not I will not be letting anyone die. So Yeah. Um I have not played this game before. Um because uh, I mean, even by the time I cared about Fire Emblem, it was like a couple hundred dollars for a copy. Well, Ike, you and had enough? I don't have a copy. I am emulating this in Dolphin. Because I don't have $600 to throw around on something like this. So, um, is this fine? Like, we're hearing stuff now. Um. <laughs> yeah, it's. I guess into Twink. I guess not. Oh, like, missed. I guess like twenty at best. Yeah, I have played a lot of like I... this game's sequel. Oh no. Um, Ready at Dawn. That's like one of my favorite games ever. But I've never played this because copies cost like six hundred dollars, and I've never really like, found the time to play the emulator. I have. So we're doing that now. Um. <laughs> I would say that um, he's a twink in uh, Radiant Dawn. I guess it's been years since I played that game and like I didn't know what twinks were when I did that when I, when I last played it so a lot has changed maybe maybe I will feel differently when, when I get to the uh, Radiant Dawn. I'll be playing like I'll be doing a full play of this game and then a full play of uh, Radiant Dawn after. Missed that song also, You're up. I don't Outside. know if this game has language settings, but, <laughs> um, okay, I, I don't know what he's like in Smash, but that's fair, I guess. God, the, the, these menu sounds and everything are so nostalgic to me. Like, Radio Dawn was like a childhood game for me. Uh, um, and a lot of this, like, aesthetics were, uh, reused between games. Also, you'll see me turning a lot because I want two monitors! Is there a way to, like, reposition chat? No, it doesn't do that.
early Fire Emblem games, like, <laughs> the title of the, like, story is always, like, super basic. It's not a gamer monitor setup, because I use it for non-gamer uses, like having a uh, tweet deck on one of them. Okay, uh, well, you need to get out a bit more. Um, here. So. Boy is a name I think I recognize from the second game. I think. Hey, uh, Lester? Lester? I th is that name just said Lester? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, hello. Yeah. This is my first time on Solo Street, too, or like Solo Game Street. So I don't really. I'll be practicing my game, so that's not. Right now it's just like, so what? what is going to be the first level? We are already further than I ever got um, <laughs> in my attempts to have people play this one emulated. Ah, uh, uh, Lester 97, got it. Uh, so. Tutorial windows, yep. Uh, Anna. No, I know how to play Fire Emblem. Let's see. And just like setting it right to um Okay, here we go. Yeah, for some reason this game's volume is really, really um fucking loud. I have it set to really low on my own speakers, so I kind of assumed that it would be, be really loud here. It's just like, Fire Emblem has a lot of settings and I want to get them. This is like how Fire Emblem games, or not that, for how Pokemon games these days, like, um, make you, uh, like, give your rival a Pokemon of the, like, type that yours is good against. That just feels like cheating. There is no unit speed. Yeah. The, the Fire Emblem Weapons Triangle is like embedded in my brain. I will never forget. <laughs> At least like the basics of it. Also, I, there's something really charming about like this whole style um, of like battle. Um, I especially like, um, I don't know if it, if it's in this game or just Radiant Dawn, but um, Radiant Dawn has a thing where it's like, as units are more damaged, their stats get worse, and their models will like slump over more, because they're dying. And that's cool. More of a tutorial level than I was expecting. The um, tutorial level in Radiant Dawn and most other Fire Emblem games has like multiple units to fight. Mm -hmm. uh. Ah, okay. So, uh, have to. Uh, Yeah, it's fair, like, Fire uh, Awakening and Three Houses are, like, the most popular games in the series, so that's fair. I've just been a fan for, like, a long time now. I'm, I'm gonna 
gonna spend a second to uh, go check a thing. Options, controller settings, configure. What did I set to things? characters are very cute, um, and Edelith is very good. Although, when I played, I went with, um, fuck, what's her name? Um, Priest Girl. I went with her most, I think I, like, did something that made, um, Edelith not, marriage not a thing in my game. Yeah, uh, Bernadette is very good, too. And, yeah, it's like, I, I also, I think I have every uh, final game released in the West, except for this one and um, some of the remakes. I, I didn't get the remake that came, that happened between uh, Houses, the Three Houses and um, Fates, because Fates sucks and I didn't like it, so I was just like, I'm done with the franchise for now. And then Three Houses happened and it was, Three Houses is fine. It's like not what I want from this series, but it's fine. Wait, fuck. <laughs> okay. Um. <sighs> okay. No. I'm... Mm. Yeah, face is bad. I, I am making mistakes with the controller setup. <laughs> Sorry, uh, sorry that like nothing is happening right now. I <laughs> past ran made mistakes when using a uh, dolphin in the past, and <laughs> now I have to fix her mistakes. games having a like you can just uh click on an enemy and it'll and the fight will happen thing like th this game's quality of life features are gonna like or like lack of quality of life features are gonna fucking end me you like that here i think you just yeah okay yeah these levels are basically impossible to lose on uh difficulties like this Fucking first level in um the first level in uh Radiant Dawn. The enemies just have fucking poison weapons. Which is so mean. <laughs> yeah, this game has uh, 3D models. Um in, both in combat and um uh otherwise. And it oh yeah, it does have sprites, but like there are models. Knowing, like, where this game goes, like, how it gets from here to, um, 
Radiant Dawn is interesting. It's like... Also the fact that, like... I wonder how easy it is to solo in this game with Ike. Because in Radiant Dawn, or in a path, in a, yeah, fuck, Radiant Dawn, it is possible to just solo. Um, Ike, uh, this, I know a bit, it's about, like, rising up and defeating an evil king. There's also, like, stuff about racism. Uh, Ike is part of, like, a, um, revolutionary army, um, there's a specific part I'm blanking on right now. But it's just like, evil evil demon king. Need to kill him. So that's gonna happen. <laughs> that's a fairly, like, standard JRPG plot. And then Radiant Dawn, you kill God. Which is also a standard, uh, JRPG plot. <laughs> I, I guess I guess I can't, really, I can't really speak to that, you know. Not, not, not my lane. <laughs> I, I guess I actually, I can, I, I, I can see Ike being a twink like this. Uh, he is kind of a uh, twinky. This game's soundtrack is good. So I'm just sliding a bit. So. Ooh. I. Dated CGI is something I really love, and I especially like love it in like movies or uh, anime. But like, the, the like dated environments here are really charming to me. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, the Smash used Twinkification beam on him. I don't remember what he's like in Smash. I just like Smash is everything I've played a ton of. So what do I have? I have axe, two spears, and a sword. Two uh horsemen. Houses are open. So that's gonna be something I go for. Explaining, or explaining weapon triangle shit. Ike is just carrying around four fucking swords. Who should go to the hub? Goody hub. I think it's gonna be Titania. So just getting a free weapon. Steel sword, god. That'll go to Ike next. That fence is gonna be annoying for getting this. Find yet. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, I want that twink obliterated. It's a fairly uh there are many situations in which it is useful to say that. <laughs> yeah, applicable phrase when talking about Genshin. <laughs> I, I I love how it's just like these two guys are just like walk up, hit the other guy with with an axe. Walk away. Eighty-seven cents. Basically, this game's this game's odds are not like um, uh, XCOM. Like, I, I will like go for an attack as long as it's like sixty-five or above. And at that point, I start to like begin to think about how that could backfire. Like, 70% odds are very good. Um, 
Ah, uh, okay, so... I'm gonna need to rush to get to the other hut, I guess. So no, Actually, wait. I was gonna say, like, don't attack him, attack Ike. I don't can attack Ike. Uh, I haven't played XCOM. XCOM seems neat, but, like, it's not something I've ever gotten to. Like, I think it's, like, the aesthetic more than anything that, like, is pushing me away at this point. Although it is, like, an American alien type of stuff. Which I like. Um, he gets the goodie out. So, what? Sarah from. Oh, that's cool. Don't know who's gonna use that yet, but... Oh, Titania has an axe! That's pretty sweet. So, hopefully Steel Sword can just... Yeah, just can just kill him. I can suffer. Venti is a twink I see mentioned a lot in conversations about Genshin, but I don't. I don't go there. So I don't really. Uh, I don't really know that series very well. I, I have seen, like, art of him on Twitter because that's inescapable. I don't know. Ah. The game hasn't been out much, right? So, like, only being out on one banner doesn't seem like it's as big a deal as compared to if a fake character had only been on the uh, first banner and then never appeared again. Hmm. Yeah, I know a lot of people uh, who like him. One of my least favorite uh, Fire Emblem tropes is to, that, like, you get this, like, really overpowered, uh, horseman unit at the start of the game who just can, like, clear everything. And, like, that is, like, always your easy mode out. That, like, you can rely on them to, like, clear if you are having trouble. But I don't really like it just because it's, like, uh, it feels too easy. And uh, they're big XP sinks. One that can be going to uh, other characters. Hmm. Yeah, reruns happen often, and especially like for a game that's only uh, a couple of months old. Like a rerun is. That seems, like, reasonable. I've heard a lot of people talking about um, Genshin on my timeline. I have never heard Ganyu. Yeah, these animations are very good. Uh, a lot of them were reused or like touched up for um, um, the second game, but they're really good here. Go. Goker? What? I know that, um... 
the... I know that Genshin has, like, that one cat twink, but I wasn't aware it had, like, animal people outside of that. Makes sense? Question mark. It's 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 it, it's an anime game. That makes sense. Half god. That makes more sense. Ooh, this is this is very good here. Irrelevant. That having a character be like half god is, and having that be irrelevant seems like something that Arknights would do. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> Arknights is just like this character is super important. This will never come up again. Well, I, I wasn't aware that uh, Paimon's actor was non-binary. That's really cool. Um, and like supporting Black Lives Matter, obviously that's also great. Um, yeah, I wasn't aware of that. The only thing I knew about Paimon was the war stuff. That's such an anime way of like beating that boss. Just like, wow, <laughs> that was very good. Interesting. Yeah, that's definitely like something that Arcdice would do. <laughs> um, Karina uh, Bodker, Bowetker. Got it. I I don't want I don't like watch or listen to a lot of dubs, but um, I guess I will. That's something I will keep in mind. And clear map. Sorry. So that that was an like a very adequate uh pheromone level. Hmm. I Pymon just looks annoying to me. But that's because I have a lot of experience with like precure. So I associate, like, mascot characters with being, like, annoying. Like, a uh, Meeple and Mopple, Mopple from, uh, Futariwa. Uh, like, that kind of thing. Pym- I like pymonial needs. Like, pymonial is a good word. That's a fun word. Mm. Yeah, I- I, I have heard a lot of like people say that like they like Paimon. And you yeah, know, that's fair. I just like <laughs> She doesn't seem like a character I would like. But mm, may, maybe that like is wrong of my assumption, but I uh, I wouldn't Genshin isn't a game I'm gonna play. It's not really my kind of game. I and I, and I can't keep up with more than one uh, gotcha game at a time. Because I'm already playing Arknights, so I don't want to be getting into another one. I, though, um, I did check out the uh, um, Dragon Quest um, game, um, and I played that for a few hours and then quit because that game isn't actually very good. It's like a tactical game, but if I want to be playing a uh, tactical gacha game. I'll just I would I would be playing Fire Emblem Heroes. But I don't want to play Fire Emblem Heroes because if I want to be playing a tactical game, I'll just play Fire Emblem. 
I don't, why would I play a, like, a worse version of it? Yeah, that's fair. Cute character, this is cute. Like, I like Arctis for, like, the lore and characters, uh, but the gameplay is also good. Like, I, if Arctis was, like, a real game, I would be, uh, interested in playing that more than actual Arctis. But gotcha, like, gotcha games, like, they have their own, like, mode of storytelling that, like, it can get rolled out over time more than most games, which is interesting. Which, like, for something like Arknights where it's, like, a big mystery about what the world is like, that, that works well. Um, but also, I, I wanted, I wish Arknights would be, um, would, uh, Words. I wish Arcanist would be faster with its storytelling. I does hasn't that one character that's like been bankrupting people lately? Isn't that a boy like Xiao? Xiao? Um Like I thought Xiao was a boy. So Yeah, Xiao. Okay, yeah. Xiao, Xiao being a boy, like, that's a boy who gets a lot of, uh, attention. There's been a lot of Xiao discourse on my timeline about how Gacha is evil and it's gonna take your money. And apparently there are people who haven't learned this yet. Like, don't give Gacha. Don't give Gacha your money. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I've heard Dark Nights events are, or, no, I'm, um, I've, I've heard that, uh, Genshin events are bad. It's like, I, I know people who have quit because they were just, like, going too fast. I, yeah, that, that's fair. I just, like, the, the discourse I've been seeing is, like, people rolling for Zhao and not getting him. So it's, like, discourse about how gacha is evil and nobody, like, people don't know how to gacha. The way, the proper way to get to gacha is, um, don't give gacha games your money. Oh, yay! This game is doing the, the Fire Emblem thing I like, which is to say, um, it, uh, last, last, last time, the, um, the win condition was to, um, uh, like, get to a certain point, and the boss was on that point, so I had to kill that boss before getting to the point. Now it's routing, which means this game has multiple win cons! Yay! Maps have variety! Yes! Why don't more Fire Emblem games fucking do this? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Gacha's always been evil, but, which is, like, why it's surprising that people are, like, spending thousands of dollars to get Zhao. Or, like, I... I didn't know that, uh, like, you could buy gacha currency illegally, like, and why would you even do that? Like, I could have told anyone who was going to do that that it would end poorly. I don't know why anyone would have done that. It just feels like Genshin is catching people who don't know gacha. And it's, um, oh, hey, Reyes. Uh, it is, um, Like, it's catching an audience that of uh, people who don't play gacha, and for that, it's like, being- people are getting caught unaware. I- I would believe that it's more forgiving than others. Um. Um. But, like, I, I hear a lot about how, like, there's a lot of gacha that are forgiving. Like, Arknights is forgiving because it gives you a lot of free currency. Um, like, a lot of games have, like, a spark system. Uh, but all gacha is bad. Like, I play Arknights, but Arknights is bad because it's gacha. And you shouldn't give gacha your money. Whew. 
Level one and enemies are already healing zero damage. That's a good sign. <laughs> I love the like sword just bounces off the armor. Ooh, oh yeah, pity rolling uh like carrying between um invaders is is a good touch. These are the early game levels, so they are going to be easier, but the game does get harder some way, I know that. <laughs> Rolf is such a baby here! Also, wow, this! Uh, really, uh, doing your part in, uh, keep it maintaining, uh, toxic masculinity. <laughs> yeah, Rolf is, shows up in, uh, Radiant Dawn, and he's, like, older than this there? So it's kind of like, wow, he's such a baby here. He's like, he looks like he's, like, seven. Yeah, Mist is good, she just, you know has toxic opinions. The fact that I have to like keep my phone plugged in during uh during streams is like one of the like hardest parts about positioning it. I'm not even trying to keep my like, gun. Um, um <laughs> killing everyone. That's just what's happening. Mm. Uh, nice! I hope that goes well for you. Yeah, c COVID is transphobic. I've, I miss cons. Like I was gonna, go, I was gonna do a lot of cons last year. I, I, I would have wanted to do a lot of cons this year, but it's just like no chances for that. Yeah. You say across the pond. Which side of the, which side of the Atlantic are you on? Um, you can't hear accents through the internet, which is probably a good thing, but... life feature I am missing the most right now is a like everyone's attack range at once but coming back, you know, at some point. So it's best to, like, let's look forward to it, you know? Ooh, nice! I, I knew about the Chiaki, but I didn't know about the Venti one. That's cool. So can we just make it to Void? Well, you have to wait turn to get healed. I think he's out of range of enemies anyway, so he'll be safe either way. 
He's fine. Also, he's like... Okay, yeah, I have this. Yeah, once cons are back, I'm gonna be like, going to every con that I can. Oh, oh yeah. I, I remember that, yeah. able to go to Pride. Um, I, I, I moved shortly before the pandemic, um, so I didn't get to do Pride in my new city, but I wouldn't really want to. Like, personally speaking, like, Pride isn't really something I care about. Uh, also, yeah, Asen is great con. Um, it's, like, big enough that you can get a lot fr uh, from it, but it's not so big. Like, AX is terrible. Um, and it's, like, terrible because it's just too many people there that things get too, uh, choked out. Um, and you just don't have a good time anymore. Whereas with, like, Asen, it's, like, still big enough that you can, like, have a good time. And Pride is skippable. It's, like, I know, like, I don't want to make, like, make anyone feel bad, but, like, Pride is, like, an event for allies more than anything. Uh, real quick. Uh, this is a Game Boy game, or a GameCube game that I am playing on, uh, my computer. Emulated. But, uh, yeah, AX, like, I, I have had good times at AX. Wait, fuck. Did I just, did I just, oh, did I just have to reset this level already? <sighs> yeah, pr pride is like for allies and for um for like recently queer people. Like when I went to um to, to Pride, I had been, like, knowingly trans for about eight months. And it's like, oh, yeah, I want to be around other queer people. And then I went, and it's like, oh, wait, no, I don't actually want this. What's the skip button? Give me a sec to, like, go look at controls again. Just gonna skip right to the level again. This time I should not be hubris. Yeah, like most of the people I know are are queer. It's just like I don't know straight people anymore. My play on this level was fine up until like right towards the end. So I should be fine for the most part. Um, I need something to do with like my hands while battles are happening. So I just like have a deck of cards that I'm shuffling. Okay. Wait, you know people IRL? Wow. That sounds incredible! <laughs> I know exactly no one IRL. I said I moved uh, before the pandemic, and then a pandemic happened. 
so I haven't exactly had time to meet people. Yet, figuring out how to use Dolphin is like a good, good thing. It's like it's a good program. I don't use it a ton, and it happened really over the years. But like, what I have gotten out of it has been like pretty solid stuff. And it's like the <laughs> it's the only way you can play this game unless you're willing to drop six hundred dollars on it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's fair. I mean, it's... The way you spelled it the first time is still pronounced Fox. I think. Yeah, yeah GameCube games are, are expensive, but, like, this game in particular is really expensive because, um... At the time, Fire Emblem was not a particularly hot property. So it was just kind of like, well... Why are we- why- why would we give this game a, like, broad, like, release when we don't even know if it's going to, um, sell well? So as a result, it's like, it didn't sell much, um, and thus a lot of people didn't play it, which is, you know, a self-fulfilling prophecy. But those who did play it, like, really loved it, and, um, Radiant Dawn got a better release, and... By then, um, uh, Marth and Roy had made it into Smash, so a lot of people learned about the franchise that way. And um, then it's like its reputation kind of grew as like an underground thing um, over time. Ah, fuck miss. Um, but and then it's like Marth just became like a bigger and bigger thing. Uh, I got added to a uh, brawl, kept, gr kept growing, and then Awakening happened, and suddenly Fire Emblem is popular, and I can no longer get hipster points for liking it. Which I, I miss the hipster points of liking Fire Emblem, because I'm unashamedly a hipster. If I wasn't a hipster, I wouldn't listen to like Death Heaven. I like saying stuff like that, because I, that's how I get my headmates yelling at me. Because <laughs> I'm not the only Deaf Haven fan in the system. And the other is not so kind about getting called a hipster. Okay, so... Let's do him and move up. Void is in slight danger. Is he in danger from both? Okay, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm a hipster VTuber. That, that, that's why you should be a fan of me before it's cool. Constantly, and I don't know if I'm coming off as like explaining my actions or the bravings of a mad woman. Um, so I don't know, like, am I doing okay for this? Do you get what I am talking about? Mm. 
Mm. Godspeed with with homework. Um, homework sucks. Don't miss uh, school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's fair. Like, I oh, fuck. I forgot to actually. But he's in a place that um he can only get attacked by when he had a Wait. For fuck's sake. Well, he survived. I can uh, have uh, Reeves heal him. So, everyone's congregating on him right now, but this puts me in an alright place that I can just like. That there. Oscar takes out, or at least attacks him. Tanya maybe takes on the boss, or maybe... I'll just, like, see where this goes. So. <laughs> yeah, the normal classes were, like, the worst part of college for me. I dropped out, like, pretty quickly, but, um... Like, I took a film class, and that was really great. I took a math class, and that fucking sucked. percent chance to hit. I think he'll get away fine. It is like statistically, it is likely that he will get hit in the case where there, where it's 52 chance percent chance of odds. But I always read that in Fire Emblem games as miss. <laughs> yeah, I got got speed with that. Like, good good for you for like actually getting to do what you want. Um, has a lot more voice acting than this, and I kind of miss that. <laughs> and level clear. After the stream, I should look into um, how many levels this game has and see yeah, how long it is. Also, yeah, going vegan is like... Mm, like... Maybe I I am like trying to go vegetarian, and have been for years. Um, I don't eat I don't eat like red meat or seafood, obviously. Well, obviously for the second part, but like, um, but it's like, um, it's hard, you know. It's it's hard. There's a reason that not everyone does it. Um, and like in a in a good world, we would not have to. Uh, like, we would not have to be vegetarian. But I mean, it's not, like, actually more, like, environmental or anything. It's an alternative, but it's not, like, anything great like that. The problem is capitalism. <laughs> but am I just gonna always be like this? I mean, like, the food industry is, like, the problem with the food industry is not that, like, 
you going vegan will absolve you of that. Because if you, even if you do, like, millions of others are still going to be partaking in it. You can be, like, completely self-sustaining, like, even on your own farm or shit, and, like, that won't really change things. Individual action doesn't save our world. So, arrow... Is that Sorin? An arrow cake like he got definitely he got me by an arrow with that Sorin. Yeah, yeah. I think that's Sorin? Shinon. This guy does not show up in the next game. Neither does he. Shinon looks like an asshole. <laughs> and Catra just looks like a Chad. minutes of gameplay so far. After about an hour of being live. Because <laughs> I had to raise a bunch of food. All of the names in this game are like weird. Like Fire Emblem names are always kind of weird, but like the names in this game like Grail. Grail. Is that Grail or Grail? Like, it looks like it just reads like Grail. Like, the Holy Grail that they fight for in Fate, uh, Stay Night. Yeah, like, ca like, ca like it, capitalism sucks. <laughs> it's, you know, awful. We need to get rid of it. What's with that sprite? What, why does he look like that? So, ooh. These maps are so charming. When I say I want, like, shorter games that look worse, uh, made by people who pay- who are paid better, like, this is what I'm talking about! Unre Unregulated capitalism is going to kill itself, is the thing, like, unregulated capitalism nap can only go on so long, because at some point the wealthy have accumulated all of the wealth, um, and, you know, after that point, you just go to war between billionaires, and suddenly, su suddenly capitalism has fallen apart. Unfortunately, like, are we gonna reach that point before everything is fucked? It's hard to say, but it doesn't look good. <sighs> Don't have the cup yet. 
missions. Dude, okay, just the boss. Why? Why does he look like that? <laughs> yeah, anti-capitalist fish hour is definitely. Um, like I'm. This is a very depressing conversation, so I am like trying to move myself away from it just because like. But yeah, people who play, like, games that are just, like, hundreds of hours long, I don't get- Like, I have put, like, hundreds of hours into Minecraft, but Minecraft isn't a game that's hundreds of hours long. It's just, like, a game that you can play for that long. Which is a very important difference. Um, and it feels like that just, like, isn't understood by, uh, game publishers. It's better to make a game that is replayable than a game that is, like, long. Yeah, Minecraft is infinitely long. Like, you can just keep playing that game. <laughs> Rip. Uh... Hot speed whenever you, whenever you do start it. games that are, like, that have, like, are, like, fine? The, the, the problem is that, like, you have these open world games where it's like, let's just, let's just have everything there. But it's like, the difference is, like, Yakuza versus, um, uh, Yakuza versus, uh, fuck, like, Skyrim. Not to say, like, people still like- I think people still like Skyrim, but it's like- it's, it, There's definitely, like, a lineage of, of, like, games from Skyrim that are, like, this problem, like, Fallout- Or not- Yeah, Fallout games are kind of like that, um... Yeah, fair, I, would, I would much rather have a replayable game to a long game. So let's see what's in this goodie that we're talking about. Yeah, it may come down to taste, like, Fallout is a bad example. I mean, like, I'm talking about, like, I meant, uh, I, I like, actually did, I meant Far Cry, Far Cry, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, I think I'll start with that, but it, it's like, that's a design that's definitely a real character who is not just gonna show up here. Who are they? We're gonna see them again. You want elixir. Yeah, like, I think Fallout was a bad example because, like, that it's, like, it's different than, like, a lot of the games that are a problem. It's like, Cyberpunk is part of this problem where it's just, like, a big game for what end. It's, like, make, make smaller games. Hmm. Yeah, having less of more ideas, that's a great way to put it. It's just like, you're doing so much, but you're not actually doing anything. I wish I could put a here and have like have him attack there. That's I think like the best spot for this combat. Um, so I need to put a here to fight, or I could put him here. But neither of those are particularly ideal positions. I think. Wait, that guy's gonna just die anyway. So I can put a here. Uh, that's, that's fine. 
Astro. I think. I think uh, Fallout is certainly like a cool uh, franchise in like theory. Um, I think in practice they lose me, but there's a lot of like the concepts behind it, like especially like the nuclear age aesthetics that I really love. Um, but then in theory it just like ends up being a lot less interesting than it could be. <laughs> It, does, it doesn't help that, like, the, dev, the devs themselves seem to miss the point of the game. Like, it being this, like, anti-capitalist, anti-American thing. It's just like, no, actually, America is cool. Let's, let's, pra let's praise American aesthetics and, like, eh, eh, you're doing it wrong. Ooh. Goodbye. Thanks for thanks for stopping in. Uh, let's not die. <laughs> oh, th this pirate's gonna die. I would have thought that the AI was like smart enough to not attack those units. Yeah, no, like the problem I'm talking about is like specifically with like. Bethesda's games in the franchise, because that's, like, the most notable parts of it. But, um... Yeah, I, I guess, like, New Vegas might not fall into that problem. I haven't played it. And I don't know a ton about it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I much prefer high fantasy, so, like, I, like, in high school I did actually, like, play some Skyrim. Um, and, like, I find, like, Sky Skyrim's, like, and, like, the Elder Scrolls, like, world building is, like, neat. I don't think it's, like, the best thing ever, but, um, it is more personally appealing to me than, um, than Fallout. Just like I prefer fantasy aesthetics, but I don't. I I, I think if Fallout used its nuclear uh, age aesthetics better, I would like it a lot more. This like the specifics like sting of music that plays during um during battle is like gonna get annoying eventually. <laughs> Yeah, the other scrolls aren't, like, anything super great, but it's, like, I appreciate the, like, depth of world building that goes into it. And I think, like, the games can look really nice at times. Yeah, yeah, a lot of games that, like, try to be just, like, huge are just, like, mmm, mmm. Unfor like, unfortunately, no. Like, you're not actually as big as you think you are. As, as you think you are. Um. Do I want to have Titania kill this guy yet? I don't think I want Gatry killing anyone else, so. Is she not? Oh, yeah, she not as a sniper. Okay. So I shouldn't have him killing any, any people either. Yeah, yeah, you, like, you need to make your world, like, living and breathing, and, like, have- give it depth. And honestly, like, all the Scrolls games, like, do that to, like, mixed degrees, like, it- it can feel like a world that's just, like, living on outside of what you're doing, but it doesn't always feel like that, I think. Let's see, if I put Titania here, are they just gonna- are they just going to attack into her? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be better. Hmm. Boat mo <laughs> Boat Monkey is certainly an inspired piece of uh, 
localization. <laughs> I, 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 like, that's, like, one of those things that's just, like, it takes me a second to, like, fully process it, but, like, I, I like Boat Monkey. There, there's, there, there is a lot of, like, lot you can say about games from, like, I mean, even now, you, there's a lot you can say about, like, game translations, but I think this is fine. I, I, I can never take the word wench seriously. Like, wench is just like one of those words that's just like, mm, eh. Are you, are you, 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 you want to try that again? Like, <laughs> it's, it's an older term that just like, hasn't aged, Has, hasn't even like aged poorly or well, it just hasn't aged. Okay, so Tony has to unfortunately to close this. I'm just gonna have I get pushed up. Having like the armor guy shove you has got to hurt. Cause those gauntlets are made of of uh, metal. That has to hurt. How much do you have access to? Nothing. They do nothing. Um. <laughs> oh, sweet! They're just out to kill like so that just distracts them. That's cool. We just took the mercy with uh, someone. Probably? Yeah, okay, fine. It, it, she, she took two damage and she is dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if someone shoved without gauntlets it would hurt, but like, Ike is like a warrior, you know, he has some training. He's probably like fine with that, he's he's even wearing his own armor. But just like, this dude, this like, huge dude in, in massive armor, just being like, BAM! <laughs> like, that. That leaves a bruise. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, uh, t the Telia uh, duology are great. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm always glad to see it. Yeah, fan of, another fan of those. They're um, great stuff. Like some of my favorite. Uh, I'm I'm actually playing this one for the first time, but um, Radiant Dawn is like one of my favorite games ever. Reading the word Benion gives me, like, flashbacks. <laughs> because I've heard that word a bunch in uh, the second game, where it has- that has a lot more, um, voice acting. Armor guy, clear that out. I, my brother and I shared a copy of uh, Radiant Dawn, so I don't have that anymore. Um, he, he's the one who still has it. And I, and I, I miss having a copy of this game because fuck, or uh, having a copy of Radiant Dawn because fuck, I'm not gonna be able to buy my own again. I think I want Boyd to have the hand axe, actually. Titania is fine without it. I I just noticed that they are that they are separating the um 
weapons and item sections. That's interesting. I like that. So Put her there. Put Sheena there. She'll take it most like a few damage. But yeah, hit axes when being used for range are like terrible accuracy. Like it's it's appreciated like that you can get in that extra damage sometimes, but they're certainly not reliable. Like with that like anime ass like crit right there. <laughs> that was great. Uh, level six. This is a clear the boss, uh, kill the boss level, so there's a chance it just ends here. Just took. <laughs> ah. Gonna, uh, gonna just kill off that one first. I don't know if. Armor guy is gonna be able to get far. Yeah, okay, he's far enough. I can just get that XP. Alright, let's get the job done. <laughs> yeah, the axes come back. They're boomerangs. <laughs> because, like, you need these weapons to be, like, reusable. Except, it, like, in the case of, like, bow and arrow, it's like. Uh, in the case of a um, bow and arrow, it's like, you know, you just have the quiver of arrows that you fire off. But it's like, in the case of, like, hand axes, um, they need to come back to you. So you can, no, you cannot end it here. <laughs> yeah, they're Australian. Okay, so... Fifty fifty chances I have to redo this level now. Um Either uh, there are three options here. The boss attacks Shinon. The boss attacks Ike. If the boss attacks Ike, he either hits or misses. If he hits, I lose. If he misses, I win. Let's see how this goes. If I was smart, here is where I would use a save state. Oh cool, that's the best option. Unless he hits twice. I don't think he will because that's where the slowest weapon. <laughs> I love Okay, that's that's a great animation, just like <laughs> sidestepping it. Like sure, yeah, that's just, you know, effortless. Hit or miss. They never miss. Wow, crit, huh? That sucks. That's a big frag to get that XP. I don't, I don't intend to like solo with Ike yet, but I'm not really super endeared to any of the characters so far. Uh, besides him, and like the ones that I, the other ones that I knew from uh, the first game, like uh, Boyd or Mist or Titania. Yeah, just... Ike is a literal child right now. Um... So... <laughs> you know, he, he is doing very well about it.
<laughs> this is beginning to make sense why I don't know these characters. They don't seem like they're gonna stick around. Roadside battle. That's very evocative. Hmm. Okay, there, there, Soren is. Soren's cool. Actually, I think I'm mixing up characters. I thought Soren was the archer guy from the second game. It's from Mix Group. No, Soren is magic. Wind, wind magic, I think? I don't remember. I, I don't know if this game breaks up uh, types of magic like uh, Radiant Dawn, but I imagine it does because they're. Um... Uh. Hi, hi! Yeah, because these games are, like, related, they probably do. Uh, countries are going to war. Ooh, this 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 is a map I recognize. So, what's going to happen here? Where's Texas on this map? Probably further south? This is the west coast. Actually, I do have, like, an idea of... Are there Fire Emblem spin-off games? Yes? Question mark? Kind of? There's the crossover with Persona that I haven't played. Um, there's Smash Bros, which has a bunch of Fire Emblem characters in it. There's... I don't know. I... It's mostly just, like, these ma main games in this style. Oh yeah, there's a, uh, Warriors game. Yeah, I, I... I have a feeling that the, like, um, Fire Emblem, uh... Persona game is gonna be like the first Persona game I touch. I don't know a ton about it and I haven't heard great things, but like, I wanna. Especially because I hear it's like idol stuff? Idols are cool. Ah, oh, yes, it'd be still being a $60 game kinda sucks, but I would probably pirate it just because that's cheaper. <laughs> also, I don't have a capture card for my Switch. I, I love how, like, edgy Soren is. Like... Ah, uh, okay, Shin Megami Tensei. No, Persona. Uh, Alright, I, I mean, I, I kind of, like, conflate the two. Uh, in my mind. Um... Like, I just think of, like, they are the same thing, but, um... Uh, wh what do you mean, I toy? Are you like clarifying something I said? Oh, I do you mean idol? Like when I said idol. Anyway, I want to call attention to how like edgy Soren's design is. Like this boy isn't just like 
black haired and moody. It's not even that he's black haired and moody and has red eyes. He's black hair, moody, has red eyes, um, is like dressed in like this edgy clothing, and has a fucking like forehead tattoo. Like, it, yeah, it's a great character design, but it's like. <laughs> it's so edgy. I love it. <laughs> great. Like, you should always be more edgy in your character designs. <laughs> Yeah, like, edgy boys are the best boys. You know, just just make your boys more edgy. Uh, Soren looks like someone who would be listening to uh, My Chemical Romance. <laughs> New Metal was ahead of its time. New Metal is cool. I don't listen to a ton of it, but, like, it's cool. Also, for the record, it's spelled N-U uh, Metal, not, like, it's New Metal, but it's not, like, N-E-W Metal. Um, give me a sec, I'll type that up. Actually, nah. It's, uh, N-U Metal. N-U New. Ooh, Regal Sword. Yeah, New Metal is great. Um... Lincoln Lake, Lake Park are fantastic. Like, one of my favorite bands. Although, uh, my favorite Lincoln Park album is actually, like, the one where they kind of stepped away from um, their new metal stuff. Because uh, A Thousand Suns is, like, one of the best albums ever. It is incredibly creative and, like, inventive and, um... I mean, it's an album released on a major label that has, like, ten interludes. You don't see that. And they're all, like, ambient and, um... <laughs> Genty Lincoln Park is, um... Definitely a, like, you have my attention. I am taking notes. Um, I might actually literally take a note. Um, <laughs> I'm, like, actually pulling up the notepad. Um... North Lane, new album. Saving that for later. Yeah, God, being five two and moshing would be terrifying. I, I don't mosh. Moshing is really my thing. I prefer to just like sit in the back um, and watch the show. Um, but like, I, I saw uh, Boris live in a in a. Uh, um, venue that had a second floor, and I was sitting on the second floor, and, like, looking down at the mosh pit was just, like, if I were down there, I would be beaten to a pulp. Like, and that's why I'm not down there. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, um, it's just, like, I'm squishy. I'm not the kind of person who would mosh. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I'm definitely going to go look into that North Lane album later. Um, yeah, no, I, I, like, I know that, like, metal fans are, like, good about, like, not being assholes, as, like, as long as you're, like, the right place. The issue is that just that, like, I don't want that. <laughs> um, being at a metal concert and getting pushed around, this is really what I want out of it. I just... I just want to listen to the loud music. Um. Yeah, yeah, that, it, that that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like, not for everyone, and it's not my thing. So... Here's units. So I can't 
can't jump between them. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that, that does, that's not true. That does, like, sound cool. It's just, like, not really nice. I can't be using void on this map. You would be nice. With only three units, it's gonna be hard to make like a defensive wall to protect my squishies. Um, I'd like to switch I can Gatry, but I don't think I can. Um, I think I'm gonna switch uh, Shinon and. Do I want to run for the forest above? Hide my squishies there. In which case, I think I still want to take configuration. No convoy yet. I think I want. I, I definitely need to get my idea. Tanya has polarized. Okay, everyone has polarized. Um, I need to uh, for free put out a new album. Although I haven't listened a ton to that in the past. Like prog metal is like something I'm not super into. Um, when it comes to metal, I prefer like sludgy stuff, like Boris, or like even like droney stuff. Um, and also I'm really into black metal. It's like prog metal is like cool, but um. Not like the most I listen to. Fight. So I've listened to some Mastodon, um, the Mastodon was actually, like, the first battle band I ever listened to, and I didn't like them at the time, but I have, like, since grown to like them more. Um. But I think I, um, I think I should give them a second chance one of these days. Yes! Okay! Yes, uh... We have the, uh, magic, um, weapon triangle. Sweet. And we have skills. Yeah, I... I should, uh, listen to more Mastodon. Yes, they, they certainly seem cool. They seem like I would something, that's something I would like at this point. Um, I think, like, a problem I have is that, like, a lot of my listening of late has been, uh, uh, very, uh, like, atmospheric more. Like, Atmos Sludge, Atmos Black, Drone Metal. And so, like, it's a Sludge Metal a lot, but, um, I've been listening to, uh, different stuff. Um, Imwald by uh, Paysage to Hiver was like one of my favorite albums last year. And I have so much to deal with these guys. I think next turn I want to retreat him. How? He's gonna die. He is gonna die. Do I want? I think I just want to have. Um, uh, yeah. 
Nice. That, that that's cool. Um, I I keep reading Steam Breather and and like in my mind, what's appearing is Sunbather. <laughs> They're very similar titles. Sunbather is a cool album. What if I just played Sunbather on stream? That would be cool. I should do that. <laughs> that would get hit by copyright. Gatriel is slowed down because he's turning. I, I want to put it down at some point, but I need to like have a point where I can slow down for that. And they're coming at us, which is a point of difficulty. Um, so where is this? Okay. Unfortunately, I think like the fact that they're just like warming around like this makes it pretty hard. Because I can pick off some of the uh, squishier units. Mm. Ah, okay. I, I'm, I'm, like, uh, Lester, I'm not, like, responding to what you're saying, but, like, I do find it interesting. Um, I, like, I do find what you're saying to be, uh, interesting. I'm glad you're saying it. Tsarist Russia is fun. Off the unit below her. Yeah. Okay, so if I can. That's annoying? But I can't. That's out of my control. So I just need to. I'll be, I will be relying on Titania as little as possible just to like spread the XP better, but she is still useful. And I should still use her sometime. Huh. That's neat. They're, they're trading. That's also concerning. down the archer. Yeah. We're, metal album about weird Rasputin stuff, uh, and like actual themes behind it sounds cool. I, I'm here for that. Like, there's a lot of music I need to listen to, so I don't know if I can, like, say I'll get to Mastodon in the next few years. But I can, like, put in a spot for my, um, 
backlog, and I'll get to it eventually. No, it's why I can't kill anyone right now. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Fire miss. He does 14. He does 14 damage. So hitting with the Iron Lance is definitely going to be enough to kill. Between the two of them. Just get some uh, death like speed. <laughs> Am I muttering under my breath too much? I'm like getting concerned that I am just like muttering under my breath too much of like half thought out things. Like on one hand, yeah, I'm explaining myself, but on the other hand, I'm only like saying half the words of explaining myself. Okay, okay, like, I, I, like all, all of my strategy stuff feels like it's getting, like, muttered. So, I'm glad that that's not a problem. I'm just gonna rescue Sora in here. Okay, I can put him down next turn. Gatriel is gonna take some hits, but he can do that. I think I might need to heal him after this, though. Or not. I forgot how good armor in this game, heavy armor in this game is. Like, it goes far. that there was an archer there. It, that's fine, I took full health. Or plus I'm full health. Um, who can he? He can kill pretty much anyone. I think I want to kill that. Tanya Spencer turned to the next Soren. animations in this game are great. That one was like a lot less like excessively anime like cool but like it was still cool. does not need to do anything this turn. He can wait. Ooh. What kind of anime do I watch is a bit of a loaded question. Because of late I haven't been watching a ton of anime. I've been mostly reading manga, but um... Like, during my debut, I showed a bunch of the anime I like, and, um, my top five were, uh, Bake, Bake Monogatari, Evangelion, Oseki no Kuni, um, fuck, I'm forgetting. <laughs> uh, Precure and Utna were the other two, okay, yeah. Hey, wall. Hey, wall. I am playing strategy game. Strategy is happening. 
I'm gonna put Rees next to Soren, because next turn, Soren will need it. Yeah, Garox. Garox is a very good show. Yeah, Ava is also very great. Uh, I, lo I love Ava. Oh, okay. Soren's gonna be fine. That's a huge. That's a fucking huge sword. Or is that a spear? Either way, that's huge. I didn't think I was gonna be the one that uh, I was gonna need to heal after all this, but that's fine. Oh, he has a javelin. Well, shit. Yeah, that's a great lance. Fuck! Well, time to replay this level. Hmm. I'm not familiar with, uh, uh, Akichi Kochi. Fight. I was doing fine up until the, uh... I was doing fine right up until that last turn. So I think the turn, the strat of um, have everyone flee north. I think that's smart. Um, I'm gonna redo that. Except this time, I'm, I think I'm gonna do a better. Like, I did a pretty bad job of uh, having everyone stay up in the forest. So I need to do a better job of that this time. Or not. I don't use gifts on Twitter, but I think I have seen that gif. But, um... I know, if I had to like describe what I like in anime, it's like esoteric experimentalism. Like, I really like, uh, let's see, um, yeah, I've, I've used, uh, Caramel Dancing, but that's it. That's the only, like, Twitter gif I know. <laughs> yeah, like, I like Handshakers. That, that defines my personality. Because who besides me likes handshakers? I I know, like... I think I know, like... A few people... Um... A few people who like it. But <laughs> we are far and few between. Hell yeah, Ike. Uh, and... Yeah, and, and, like, art house anime are way more commonplace than, like art house, like, western television. Um, like, it's mostly shit like Game of Thrones, where it's like, it, it can be impressive in its own right, but it's not like art house. You don't get stuff like, uh, Bakemonogathari that way. You don't get stuff like, um, I mean, anything Shaft has done. Anything that, like, Gonzo was doing in the 2000s. Um, anything Ikuhara has ever done. You don't get that in, um, Western media, like, to do that, you need to be, like, digging for it. Whereas in anime, it's like, no, Baki Monogatari is one of the most successful anime ever, and somehow it's also, like, incredibly, like, experimental and, like, heavily, like, influenced by, like, art cinema. That should be a more commonplace. Like, I would watch more. <laughs> hey, networks, if you're listening, I would watch more television if, or I would even watch more, like, streaming television if you just put experimental movie on uh, uh, like experimental stuff there stop giving us like marvel shit and give us like 
a television show made by the the lighthouse director. <laughs> Yeah, like, um, Adult Swim can, can definitely get experimental, uh, but that's like, Adult Swim has its own issues. <laughs> yeah, like, Adult Swim is either, like, experimental or extremely derivative. talking about with the alt-right show, but I believe you entirely. That seems like something they would do. I mean, that, that seems like something that, um, <laughs> that seems like they would do several times. Yeah, uh, bye, thanks for tuning in, um, yeah, thanks. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that, that sucks, but that's what I—that's what I would expect from them. If I turn my head too far in one direction, my eye, my eye blinks. That's that's funny. Hmm. I had pizza for lunch today because uh, a couple nights ago I uh, got uh, takeout pizza. And it was just like, warm it up. That's a, that's a good meal. Hold here as these units come up. Um, move everyone. Uh, Soren can pick up that guy. Gatry makes good bait because, like, no unit is ever going to deal him enough damage that I have to worry about him. Also, wow. Yeah. Like, Knowing when you went to sleep, yeah, that, it makes sense that, um, you would wake up at midnight. So, put some in here. Sheenon might be able to knock him out. Let's see. I just remembered that tab, in addition to being the button that I mapped uh, start to, also fast forward stuff. Wow, that's so much more bearable! I'm gonna forget that 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 I mapped it that way next stream, and, gonna, and I'm gonna have to sit through all of these uh, things again. <laughs> yeah, this this better song is funny. It's not even like nightcore because it does it's not pitch shifted.
didn't know if, uh, Cardiacs made a Fire Emblem soundtrack. I need to listen to the Cardiacs one of these days. They seem neat. have Titania pick off the archer. That'll get annoying, I think, if uh, it's a fly. Oh, right! He has a javelin! Right. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna use that the entire time. Just cause, like, I do like listening to, like, battle music. But, yeah, it, it is funny when it's sped up. I wish I could have Convoy. God, is I gonna die again? 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 I hope I doesn't die again. I hope I doesn't die again. Uh, I significantly misjudged where units were and assumed things that were in a similar position to last time. There is a convoy in this game. Uh, the problem is that um, you unlock the convoy at a point. And I'm not at that point yet. Third time on this map! Hey, remember, like, 40 minutes ago when I was like, I want these games to be hard. When are these games going to get hard? The, the, the monkey's paw uh, was definitely curling up in that moment. What if I change my tactics a bit? What if I play more conservatively? Forest trap doesn't work great, I found. So let's try something different. Oh, she actually got Yeah, okay, that's not great. So I just try to hold that wall of three units. This would be so much easier if I had a fourth, like, uh, melee unit. But unfortunately, I only have the three. Um, this is a cruel level. Definitely, like... It's all, it's all constructed. But I, I would appreciate if I was able to use, like, my full team. Do I want to hold position? I think it's gonna be like a next time. <laughs> yeah, tree is faster than I would have expected. Him getting double hits this early is pretty surprising to me.
Sheen on kills that guy, and then Ike will get the last one. And then Gatry and Titania hold. This won't this formation won't last uh, past these guys showing up. I don't think. We'll see. Actually, it might hold. Um, we'll have to see, but it might hold. God, that was a weird face my <laughs> uh, YouTube studio just put on. Okay, so then Louise can come over here. I think it's the only one that's in attack range, but I think that's fine. Um, what is this mechanic? What is the fucking biorhythm mechanic? I, like, I know it was in older games, but I don't, like, remember it ever. I don't think any of them have a jump one, so he'll take two hits here. This can get him again next turn. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Fire rhythm was something made up for mattress companies. I, s I would believe that. I, I would definitely believe that. That's the kind of shit they would do. is working well. I will probably die again because that's how it's been going. Let's just let's just see. Um, I think I'm doing a better job of keeping him healed more than usual. I say that as he's at seven health, but that happened all after turn. So and he's getting He's getting a good level ups here. Um, him and Soren are the two I'm trying to give XP right now. <laughs> You'll like. Him and then advance uh, the millions of it. So. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah, that's fair. If you wanna if you if you wanna go cheer for a friend, go ahead, do that. So, that can that archer make it over here? Characters in this game have more rage than I think they do in other games. Um I'm not used to archers being able to be like make it that far. Is I gonna die? Yes! Thank fucking god. 
I don't have to restart this level for a third time. Oh, nice. Dual monitors are uh, dual monitors are a good setup. Sorry, pick that guy off. Uh, it is kind of annoying that like because Ike is my loose pawn, enemies will just like target him. Um, even if it's, like, not really makes sense for their tactics. But maybe that changes in later levels when it's, like, I have more... Because, like, there's not a point in attacking Gatry. Because Gatry is just a wall. And there's not much point in attacking Titania, because if you attack Titania, you will die. So if, it, if it's, like, Ike and those two, you don't really want to, uh... Like, I guess the good choice. It's still just like the formation is falling apart now, but I think this is the time when it falls apart reasonably well. Put those two ahead because they won't die. Uh, beat the boss over. Uh, and because it's a heavy armor, I'd like to use Soren to um, deal some damage in before whoever kills it, but. Javelin means that he can't do so safely. Um, Tony doesn't have the hand axe equipped yet, so might go for her. It's gonna do nothing to either of them, and everyone else is out of range. Okay, yeah, Gatry makes sense. It's just like. Firing an arrow into just like heavy armor, that's definitely gonna do nothing. Okay. How suicidal is it for. Yeah. Sorry, fix that one off. It needs to be getting sword gun experience here. But like I think he's, I think he's doing fine. He, he got a few kills in here. And in later levels when I can make a better um bl blockade to support him. Make him hide let him hide behind. He'll be in another place. <sighs> this he is going to go for Ike unless I put um I uh, do I want to put Beast behind Ike to uh, bait out the javelin I don't I think that's a bit risky I don't think I want to be doing that to be what happens. I can kill I can kill the boss with Sheenon, but I don't think I want Sheenon getting those levels because he's already um I don't want uh he's already a second uh unit. Yeah Titani is cool. Like I having like um played like ha played with her as a character in the second game it's like she's cool. I like her. It's just kind of like a shame that she's like the unit I don't want to be using right now. Tank is fine, Gatry is fine. Shh, you know, 
then just for some XP, you can just kill that. I keep having to, like, try to not call Gatry Gatriel, because I keep thinking of Gaviel from Arknights. <laughs> okay, I think it's fine. Okay, so Ike deals six damage, Soren gets the final hit. There's a lot of Arknights characters and there's a lot of good Arknights characters. So remembering the specific one, you um like can be heard. Yeah. Uh, I I'd be interested to hear it because I like I am a big fan of Arknights, so. Okay, so there is a 1% chance that this fails. Let's fucking go? <laughs> I've had good luck so far, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, let's see. Yup. <laughs> Wretched Cur is a good, like, swear. That's some good XP for, um, Soren. Sweet! Level is done! Took, uh, three tries. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Steal from the dead on your own time is a great, like... <laughs> that, that, that's a good, that's a good one. Good line. Oh yeah, Shining is great. Um, I really like her. Um, like combat medics are like a cool aesthetic, and the fact that she's just like she like Gaviel is also a combat medic, but like Shining is just like I don't know. Shining they play it out differently, and I like Shining. Also, the fact that Shining is a gay poly polyamorous woman is also pretty woke. Thank, thank, th thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't even know who makes Arknights. Yostar, I think? Yostar? Elincia. El El Elincia is an interesting name. Shining is cool. I, I use her as, like, the medic on my team. I... So, so Silver Ash is, like, I, I, I hear that he's, like, a really good unit, but one of my headmates, um, who was playing Arknights with me, instituted a no-boys rule, and I was not particularly, you know, I wasn't gonna fight that. So we just don't use boys. Oops. I'm, I meant to do that to like speed up dialogue, but um, it, it just skipped it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't have put the the no boys rule in, but like one of my headmates did that, and um, this is kind of like, eh, I'm not gonna fight that. I don't like boys, so you know, but, but boys can be like cool, you know, but, but Eric Nice has a lot of cute girls, so like <laughs> we get by fine. That's it. I I rolled Silver Ash a while ago, and I never leveled him. This, this looks like it'll- it's a fun map.
Yeah. The our, our gay boys are like, eh. I, I, they, they saved the good designs for the girls. But the girls' designs are great. This guy sounds like an asshole. Like, what an asshole, dude. Actually starting to happen now. That's cool. <laughs> this map looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Especially in a like, it's definitely a protect the castle. they come up from that direction, uh, that there won't be an issue here. Like, otherwise, like, this is fine. Okay, the Iron Sword to... the javelin to Gatry. I think Gatry works best for that range. Uh, I can say that's all the weapons distributed. Conditions are just defend for a while. Yeah, let's just give this go. Now I just keep characters from dying for the next six turns. Oh right, I forgot about uh Void. Oh, you can just sit back. So how will this play out? Like first list isn't great. Unless the archer comes and attacks him, I think he'll be fine. And, and actually, I don't think he's within the arch. No, he is. Okay. But he, at 17 health, I don't think the archer do much to him. Can use some of these over, but that's otherwise fine. I can try pushing the back. I guess. Do I want to try pushing the back? I don't think I do. Uh, I think I just want to hold. Don't want to. Don't want to succumb to succumb to hubris this early. One down. 
There's like 20 enemies, I think. There will be more. It's only six. It's only six turns, so I don't think there's gonna be more. Okay, see, this is what I mean by like, why are they all coming after Ike when it's not strategically advantageous? Like, it's just like they're lining up to just try and kick uh, Ike's ass, but um, I, I, Ike can survive that? that look like Soren. Just like, make your boys edgy. Make your boys look like they will listen to MCR. Except not Shuichi Saihara. That... <laughs> I, I realized as I was speaking that like, oh right, he falls within what I am talking about. Except he's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> Should be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that that's good. <laughs> like, I don't hate Shuichi. Look, like, Shuichi is not like the worst, but if I if, if, if I want emo boy who listens to MCR, Shuichi is not what I'm looking for. He's not edgy enough. He's just kind of sad. That's not what I want out of that. You know. We just can go here. I wish I could heal Oscar here, but... Is there another archer here, or... Two archers. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I can see a, yeah, Sh Shuichi as a uh, Panic at the Disco fan. Makes sense. It's just, uh, Sh Shuichi being a uh, MCR fan is like kind of a meme. It's definitely like an accepted head. Shuichi would definitely be a, like, scene kid. Like, he wouldn't be a scene kid, but he would have scene kid taste. Sh Shuichi gets, uh, Rantaro into, uh, Panic at the Disco because they're boyfriends. It's just like... You, you just end up listening to the music that your partner plays, and that's how Rotaro gets into Panic at the Disco. Giving 
uh, Gatry the javelin was a bad idea. Because it's more likely that Oscar is going to stick behind the lines for this. Also, am I just going to end up actually pushing them back for, like, lack of anything else to do? Fuck. because um, I want to be using that as long as, like, I want to be using those up because they age pretty poorly. So heal Oscar. Soaring to pick off that guy. Can he pick up? Fuck, he can't even pick up. Pick off that guy. So, yeah, we can pick off that card. Can... can someone kill the guy in front of I Can you even... can't even reach there. Probably make some people. That's what they're gonna do. Archer. What's it like from down there? Okay, yeah, Boyd, Boyd can push this, so that works out. Actually, mm, is that gonna work out? Boyd's low health now. I guess I can push it with, um... I, I, I can push in that direction with Ike to be the lightning rod. Take advantage of that, uh, yeah. Sword hits level three. Yeah, with two eighty five percent hits, Titania will definitely kill this guy. I don't have to worry about that side until that whole section at the bottom starts advancing. I think this is like turn three, turn four. I'm doing fine. I'm doing like good. Reese is a bit strained. But um the Tony hitting level two is cool. Uh, I've been like minimizing the XP she gets, but uh like naturally she's still gonna get some. Yeah okay um, that saves Reese at least. Because he's the lightning rod. Fine. Fucking. Plus the melee unit. Um. Ooh. Ooh, a hammer. I think it's like a Yeah, okay. The hammer's a terrible accuracy, right? Approaching turn four. Okay, who needs to get healed? Oh no. gonna drop. It's early enough that, like, it's like, oh, hey, a weapon with an effect. Let's give that to the player. I think that's gonna happen here. And then Boyd gets it. But I think I want to use Boyd and Ike to, like, make that wall. Make the wall that's, like, comparable to what's going on with Titania and Gatry. Another 
appreciate you coming up that way, but that's fine. Oscar doesn't really have anything to do with this, but I, I think he should take the uh, javelin from Gatry. He's the one thing to be having to use it now. <laughs> the misanimations in this game can be so fun, because it's just like, Miss. She's like mostly immortal at this stage. I don't want to risk her. Especially as I think the boss is gonna start making his move the next turn, or this turn, rather. Like. Yeah, yeah, okay, so boss is making his move. over to where the boss is gonna be, because he has the hammer. Oscar can make it over here. Can Slime deal enough damage to, like, close it out if Oscar starts it? Yeah, okay, that's fine. These are really fun. I, I'm glad that like Fire Emblem brought, like this game has these. It's just like, oh wait, fuck, Soren has the hammer. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, everything is fine. a lot more this level just because it's like I want units to be surviving and I, I want to make she's someone I can just stick in front of a wall or just stick in front of units and she'll be a wall
Sword one. Sword's like so far from just good for like getting in the kills because he, he doesn't have enough damage that he can um be like killing units in one go, and he doesn't have the defense that he can like put up multiple fights. So um, he's good for like picking off enemies. With, uh, up to 16 damage in a turn, like that's like. Even like one hit uh, from another enemy would be enough that he gets lethal. This is the last turn. There's no way they're getting there in time. I don't want to get cocky, I'm just gonna hold. Standing in place one. <laughs> yeah, there's no question about it. Once you are literally fighting in a war, you are probably not on friendly terms with the people you are fighting a war with. here because this feels like like I have finished like the prologue of the story and now things are actually gonna start so next week gonna come back and like stuff is gonna be happening um, once we finish up like the story stuff Sword fighting, huh? She's gonna be a unit at some point. Yeah, th thanks. I had a lot of fun too, um, so I'm glad like people in the audience enjoyed this. Oh hey, it's the Fire Emblem! It's an emblem that's, out that's like, ha it's on fire. Shout out to, like, Shadow Dragon, which actually had a, uh, Fire Emblem item. That's a, that's a design. I think if this game came out today, or even if it were to get re-released, you would have a lot of people who are very enthusiastic about this design. People would be a fan of this design. This seems like something that people would like. Hmm. That's, that's also a cool design. With like the face paint. Yeah, people would go wild. <laughs> Take a screenshot and post this on Twitter uh, after the stream. <laughs> so, yeah, that was almost three hours of, of uh, streaming, two hours of game time. So. Cool. Bye.